how we can recreate a boundary. Here we have the example. We will go to the line command and from here we will select create line by bearing. We can see here the option create line by bearing. And for this purpose, if we go to the line option from here, if we zoom, we can see that it's it's giving us the bearing root. So we have the quadrant. So we will just look at the quadrant that we have four quadrant. We can see that north to east is to east to south and south to west and west to north. So we have this four type of quadrant. So we will just keep it in mind. Then now we are going to select the line and first we need to click on the create line by bearing and we will just start from a random point from here and we will go to the up stair. We are just going to draw the same sketch. So here we have the bearing. We will use the same bearing and distance. Okay, this is going to the quadrant number four. So we will enter four. It's going north to west. We can see here north to west this quadrant number four. So just click enter and now it's asking to enter the bearing. We can see specify bearing. So we will enter the bearing. Our bearing is here. We can see the 2249. So it means 0, 0.2249. So we will enter 0, 0.22. Point forty-nine. So enter. Now we will going to enter this distance 390.2. So 390.2. Enter. We can see that this line is draw. Now we are going to draw this line and we will go to the quadrant 2. This one is our quadrant 2. Okay. Just go and enter south to east. Okay. South to east is our quadrant 2. So enter 2. Okay. Once we enter Two. Next is asking for the bearing. Our bearing is 78 point, we can see here, 09.43. So press enter. Once we press enter, it's asking for the distance. So we will enter distance 532.1. The distance is here. Now we can see that this line is drawn. Now we are going to this small line. This is 47 meter line. So we will go to the quadrant. Three. We can see that quadrant 3 here, this one, southwest. This is the quadrant 3, south to west. Okay, so just enter 3. Okay, once we enter 3, next we need to go to enter the bearing. So our bearing is 441.15. 4.41.15. So press enter. Now we can see. And we will enter the distance 47.4 press enter now we can see the line is draw now it's next is this line from this point to this point this one is in the quadrant 2 we are going to the quadrant 2 here okay enter 2 and once we enter 2 next we are going to enter the bearing so our bearing is 6 13 12 6.13 Point twelve and press enter and enter the distance 235.4 and press enter. Now we can see that this line is draw same as it is the sketch. Now we need we don't need to enter this. We can enter also this information, but if you are going to enter escape and next you can just enter CL close command for your keyboard that it will close automatically you can see it here so it's close from here to here easily okay so let's delete these lines delete now you are going to enter this second way we have this specified points we will use this one so go to the line command once you go to the line command you can see here create line by points range we have this option create line by point range so it will be created by the point range if you have known points for example we have here let's start from 8 9 10 11 12 so we can just easily create this by the help of known points so for this purpose we are going to select this first option second option and it's asking the point number so we will start it from 8 okay dash 12 comma 8 for the close comma is for the close press enter now we can see it's draw successfully so we can use for the boundary creation these two method one with the bearing and one is with the known points creation